Good. <coughs> good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All right, we have to change some preferences here. Let's see about this. Our date and time got messed up. There we go. I think we did it. Sure. It's a little off center. Let's leave it off center for now. While we play our game, what do we need to play? We need to play H4. H4 is the one that we are behind on. And a minute and a half on the clock. We'll just do a little bit of a Pierce defense. H5 already thrown in. Modern defense might have even been better. Let's keep chipping away at the center. Oh, that was kind of him. Now we're in a Sicilian reverse with H5 a la Magnus Carlsen. weakness doesn't look like such a great tag our queen could get trapped all right then we'll keep tagging takes 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 A little sketchy, of course, but that's the nature of uh, playing H4 on the first move. Sketchiness is our friend. All right, I guess, whoops, we can't go after that one so easily. Now we have the bishop pair for what it's worth. For what it's worth. We're still planning on going after the bishop on uh, e6. What can I see? Shaken, not stirred. Owls in space. Good morning and thank you for the follow. Let's mark down our h4. Are we getting in 5H4s today? We're going to try. 5H4s. Where are you going, sir? Towels in space. Thanks for following. I don't know if I like this. Knight takes, queen takes. Now what good is our bishop pair going to do us? <clears throat> we will attempt to go for a small center. No. Could it 
attack two weaknesses there. Maybe we'll do it on the next move. Maybe. Just maybe we'll try to do it on the next move. Alright, we're doing it on the next move. Hunker. Troll. Grab. Cross and cover. So now we have two extra pawns on the outside, round the outside, round the outside. It's like another pawn weakness. And another weakness on F7. an extra bishop and the two bishops. Oh no, sir. No, sir. We're not giving anything. Not just yet. We're just anchoring. Controlling the only open file. The number one problem as our opponent is in the younger range is paying attention to the opponent's pieces. Every time you move, you have to know how the opponent's pieces move. Constantly I'm reminded of young Ferguson players said, test. <laughs> Good morning, Ron. How are you? Running late, of course. But better late than never. Thanks to Chess Friday's Informant for all their support. Said, Fridays is good. Have you gotten your 1,000 best of the best yet, Ron? How is your Friday schedule, Ron? What time do you go to work usually? Do you have time? Is this before you go to work at this moment? We're at a 111. So our opponent needs to do constant exercise. Where is our opponent? Stimmy Pro. Matt aware in Kesselias. Said. Hi. Matt Warren. Good morning. <laughs> Semi Pro 2. Pegasus Sway said, The company wasn't he doing well, so me and some had to leave, but otherwise, it's good. Yeah, Puzzle Streak to me is the number one way that you keep track of, and you can find Puzzle Streak under Puzzles, Puzzle Streak, and you can literally pay attention to the opponent's pieces and stuff like that. Like this rook is planning on taking our rook, so we'll throw in the in-between move before we recapture. I.e., in this particular position, 
we are attacking this three times. I don't necessarily know that it's such a good way of going. We do have a fork because our opponents cannot guard the knight as well. So every time the opponent moves, weaknesses are created. Check. Not entirely positive. It looks like the bishop is trapped. Said. Move it is it chessable too? Is it chessable too? After a bad opening. <laughs> and one more, just for grins. It looks as though we might be removing a defender. In this particular case. First things first, Queen is being attacked. Bishop takes check, Knight takes. Do we have Rook to E8? Is that the story? I don't know, we have to get back to our tournament at the moment. Then we'll return to Puzzle Street to show some more examples. I am playing a game indeed against G Serp, our constant rivalry. I hope he studied our previous games. We're going to go with the Sicilian. Yesterday, second place in Opera Spiel Ron. We're going with the Accelerated Dragon because it is a nice, solid opening in which we can try to get some form of an advantage. Our opponent is allowing us to play d5 immediately. So we have to take that opportunity. Knight takes d5. A2 pawn is hanging. We have lost a little bit of our capabilities here, unfortunately. We might be threatening D4. JDX the kid said hello. Good morning, JDX. How are you? We still haven't fixed our world time clock yet. JDX the kid said, "An OFC as always. I've come with another question. When you can answer it." What is your question, JDX? Bring that one flush with the. Flush relatively on that side, but a little bit on the inside, a little bit on the inside. That'll do for now. Let's see about getting our pieces toward the king side. JDX the kid said, How do I simply become like you where I can wake up early like a Giga Chad and play chess at your mastery even with fog brain? Well, the number one thing that you need to do. JDX the kid said, I can barely manage basic tasks with full rest. The number one thing that we need to do. 
is keep aware of our schedule for sleep because without sleep, life becomes a little bit more difficult. This was a silly move on my part. It did not actually work out. Well, he let us get away with it, unfortunately. He let us get away with it a little bit. Is my rook trapped? We'll find out in a moment. May have to give up the exchange for two pawns. Well, he's letting me off the hook. Thankfully. Oh, he's getting his pawn back. Is that the story? Nope, I guess not. I was pretty certain that he was getting his pawn back. Can't let it happen again. Can we go for it? Hmm. Very much a bother. A rook is in a little bit of a state. How am I getting my rook out of danger? That is the question. We're going to have to remaneuver ourselves. Yeah, yeah. That much we knew. We were giving up the exchange. That much we did know. We're trying for an active piece. Interesting. Takes, takes, takes. that pawn at all? I want to hold that pawn. Let's just go for Gegenspiel. <laughs> We're going for counterplay. For what it's worth, we're going for some counterplay. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't have much of a choice here. We are going to have to run for it. Continuing to run for it. Could have been a bad idea on my part, now that I look at it. Am I losing? It does appear that way. Ha 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 ha. 
That's a bummer. You got me. Good job, G Serp. A victory for another happy dojo member. Let's go to see what we did wrong. So first things first, the placement of my Rook was really ridiculous. I'm not sure why I placed my Rook where I did. Checking the Masters database, nothing. Lee Chess experiences. So Lee Chess experiences here. We have 11,000 people playing E6, Bishop to B7, and Manny did play Queen A5. It still looks good for Black. King to be one is what I expected. A3 did happen. And... Well, actually, A3 didn't happen. Bishop h6 happened. And then I played queen a6. I take it back. So... Queen h6, queen h6. Yeah, there was nothing over here, was there? Could have decoyed his queen and gone after his king side with queen to b6 and uh, brought my rooks into the game appropriately. Instead, I played queen a5. Now, after knight e2, I still seem to be doing pretty well. I should reroute myself to queen b6, but I was worried about queen d4 stuff anyway. Queen a4 seemed reasonable. Knight to d4 was a bother. So, bishop f5, and this was just very cute that he walked into this. On knight d4, bishop d7 was lame. I am up a pawn. All I have to do is activate my other rook or relocate this rook to a better square because my pawns will be much superior to his and his bishop isn't that great. What was I worried about with my pawn structure? So now, my rook is somewhat trapped. Rook a4, bishop d3 gave me another chance. Rook to c8. Knight e8 was a terrible move. Rook takes c1 was perfectly acceptable, simplifying the position, creating fewer chances for him. I'm still up a pawn in this position. Instead, I played this move, which was awkward. <laughs> Returning to the tournament just to see whether we're playing a game. Yeah, knight e8, knight d6, I was planning on barnacling, but my rook was just too poorly placed. Uh, we're still going with h4. This is our second h4 of the day. We're still on a GTO strategy. And in an e4 opening, we're going to have the initiative. Wow. I'm still going for the four pawns attack. Absolutely still going for the four pawns attack. We are going to see how this affects us. Having h4 and h5 in. Bishop to e2. I'm not really threatening h5, am I? We'll just continue to develop. Now he seems to have wasted an inning this particular line. We're going to exchange our C4 pawn I don't have much of a choice here as it turns out do I? I must play D5 I play pawn takes pawn, pawn takes knight.
Did I lose a pawn out of the deal? It appears so. Doesn't it appear so? We're going to keep his knight off sides if we can. Knight takes day one, rook takes day one. Pretending as though this doesn't happen very often. Now we have our imbalance. This looks like the most aggressive square to keep our pieces alert. Just as well that we took this one. He's got knight c5. Interesting. He is coming after us that way, huh? Bishop to g6. Bishop d2 is the threat. Still okay. Still exchanging central pawns. Rook to d5, knight to e4, knight to e4, knight to b5. D6, check, King D7, awkward, lost on time. I don't really get, how was I doing in that particular position anyway? What did I do wrong? Where did my piece coordination break down? What piece unit do I have to work on? So this has been played before. Played two h4s. Bishop g4 question mark. d5 straight away. Bishop takes. This is what I was concerned about. Bishop takes. Then what? Then e6? Wow. Totally missed this move. b takes f3, knight takes e5, c5. Didn't really like that. But e6 is what I totally missed. JDX the kid. Takes e6, yes. queen takes f3. I also have another question. Have you ever purposefully made the worst move on the board just to flabbergast your opponent and stun them when they have little time remaining? JDX the kid. Said. No, it I've never done that. A few times. I've actually never JDX done that. Actually, I take that back. Said, you do that in bullet. That I is a bullet technique. I always found it hilarious. <laughs> 
That is a bullet technique to flag the opponent. It only really works in really low time controls. And really, it's a limited time offer deal, honestly. Bishop to h2 was probably the best move, but maybe not. Would that have worked? Going back here, bishop h2, rook takes g5, hg5, bishop h2, g6, bishop e5, and we're toast. So, in this particular position, king to e6 was, was required. We're still working on it. Now bishop takes check. We lose our rook. We can't take that pawn. We cannot take that pawn. It's off limits. No. Is now a check. No, it was rook h4 check winning the rook. Ashi Yummers. Instead of a win for white, it is now Probably a draw. Figures this way. Said. Perhaps I buy this HTTPS www.chessable.com Encyclopedia of Chess Combinations 6th Edition Course 72,162. Yes. yes. Although I'm not entirely happy with the move selection in many of the uh, instances. Uh oh. Wow, is he fighting for it? Good job, Ashiyamers. Uh oh, and now white now black wins. Wow, what a move. Oratov missed his chance for a win with Rook A5 earlier. Why is my system so sluggish? What do I have open? I believe I have to close one of the 273 tabs that I have open. Just one. 273 is way too many. Alright, we're going with the Grunfeld or the King's Indian. We'll find out in just a moment. as we struggle at the center. Puzzle streak to pay attention to detail. Well, that's fascinating. Is it two pieces for a rook? What? It's only an exchange. 1737, sir. Fighting spirit. 1900. That's what you really need. Puzzle streak for attention to detail. For example, this very difficult exercise that I have here. What am I to do? I take once. For what it's worth. Bishop takes. I just don't get it. This should be easier, everybody. Well, we look at forcing moves first. Bishop takes, knight takes, rook takes. Yeah. And it looks like it's a free piece because of the overworked queen. I 
I guess it wasn't a free piece. Material's still equal, but the white position is good. Were we down a piece in this position? <laughs> ah, we were down a piece, and the opponent was going for simplification. Now all the pawns are hanging, and we have a rook on the seventh rank. Therein lies the tale. Queen to f2 is the first move that springs to mind. It doesn't work because a rook takes f2. However, there is a checkmate on the side of the board, as the king has no squares. Let's head back to our regularly scheduled event with our sluggish video memory. Did I get a full point by? No. Reload. Pillsbury, of course, is running away with it. I do not have a chance of finishing in the top three as I did yesterday. Yesterday I was 20 some minutes late as well. Hillsbury, Ron Hay is uh, playing Ashi. Why is this pawn not hanging? Poor opponent made their last move. They really had to ask themselves what Black's queen was up to on this square. Was that... It was literally just a hanging a pawn. And now, do we have the opportunity to double rooks? Or do we just continue capturing? Or do we put the screws to our opponent different way with rook to c1 check. <clears throat> rook to c1 check, king h2. Does it do anything? He chose to take another pawn. Now it looks bad. Bishop to e5. Look to see one check. Bishop to c5. Look to c2 on that one. This pawn is hanging. <clears throat> Bishop h5 check. Queen e6 after this one. This should be 5 check, king e6, rook takes d7, queen takes d7, knight takes e4. Four so, now we're trapped in Fisher's mind battling his own private army, and if we get killed, Going for even more. we'll be lost in limbo well, until our brains turn to scramble How are mm -hmm. you? <coughs> Ah, he's going to that direction. Honey, we're all in. It looks like Maiden 2. Looks like Maiden 2. As fast as you can finish that book, Mike. Interestingly enough, you're going to finish, you're going to weed out your uh, foundational errors if you finish that book. I always seem to put a space because it's such a <coughs> sentence-like structure. Uh-oh. Queen is hanging with check, yeah? And the rook is hanging. So I would throw in queen to d1 check first. Queen to d1 check, king h2, and then rook takes h6, that means. Uh, queen up one mate. Ouch. 
Yeah, I would have definitely thrown in... I would have definitely thrown in Queen to D1 check. Oh, I didn't have Queen to D1 check. Never mind, I apologize. For some reason, I hallucinated that the king was going back to A1. Nice win, sir. Sir Ron. <coughs> so, the last question from JDX the Kid about playing the awkward moves on purpose to throw the opponent off. The I don't recommend it. GT, GT, yeah, definitely plow through the book as fast as you can. I know that the simple exercises the and the essential King. checkmates are rather basic, but you just have to see instantly. And you should also have the setting already set that any checkmate is a correct answer, which I think might already is when there's more than one checkmate. The pawn promotion chapter is the most tedious, Mike. Pawn promotion chapter will be the most tedious to work through as an exercise. There are many alternative moves, and if you see an alternative move, don't be afraid to comment on that position. In fact, please comment on that position. Thank you, everyone. I am PDA Trainer and National Master John MacArthur. I don't think I'm going to meet my November 30th deadline to publish that book, Mike. But it is, uh, it is only because I added so much to it. I decided to make it a much bigger project instead of keeping it simple, foundational, tactical exercises that... That I should have. In fact, I should just rename it and publish it. And it's tactical exercise. Only win from disconnect. Said, you're making a book. I have several books in the works, and I have helped ghostwrite many books in the past. Of the many books in the past that I have helped ghostwrite, one of my favorites was Attacking Chess by Josh Waitzkin. Certainly, I put more of my heart and soul into that one than I did Modern Chess Openings 14, both of which you'll find me credited in the acknowledgments at the beginning of the book, rather than in the on the title page as an author. I also did a page-a-day calendar for many years. I worked with Grandmaster Maurice Ashley on the... Chess master, from disconnect. whatever number. That sounds awesome. I attacking chess by who I should give it a read. Attacking chess by Josh Waitzkin. The kid from Searching for Bobby Fisher. He and I were friends. He has also written other books on uh, The Art of Learning, which is a very nice book. The Art of Learning. He is a grandmaster in Tai Chi and an international master in chess. I rightfully earned a full point by here. Let's watch the number one board for just a moment. Hillsbury, we will see his artistry. I don't know if Ron has not gotten by Hillsbury today, but usually Pillsbury is a customer for Ron. Not sure why I'm choosing a Pierce defense setup. Only win from disconnect. Said. Can't wait to read it, thanks. It is also a chess exercises book that I had suggested uh, based on his games, tactics from his games with hints, the Fireside Chess Book. It's out of print, but quite a lovely book. One of my games, unfortunately, one of my losses is included in that book, as it turns out. Oh, on King F7, I might have played F4. Look 
the H at rook to C8. It's like a pesky pin. Now we missed our chance for the pesky pin. Not sure why we traded off our good knight so quickly without looking. But okay. Fair enough. Let's preserve our bishop pair, yeah? Can we? I'd have tried to keep him out with h4. White is making some severe inroads. Uh-oh. Again, rook to c8. He would find that move on his own, so don't consider it backseating. Oh, rook to c8 would have lost an exchange to knight e4, knight f6 check. <coughs> Fortunately, our opponent wasn't listening to us. Ouch. <clears throat> that was a good gain of time. That was definitely a good gain of time. Do we go for it? Try to pin the knight. H4 check. If we're going to keep the theme of hanging on to our H pawn. This is the only move. Bishop takes check. Ouch. This could be awkward. <clears throat> D6. D7 on the next move. Perhaps bishop takes knight check would have been more to the point. Take with check. Bishop c3. No. No. Bishop c3. Our pawn was going to queen no matter what. Only win from disconnect. Said. I did this chess tournament with these guys much higher rated online and almost one came in second but it was a new type of pressure than random matches online played so much better. Nice. In fact, you should always play players who are higher rated if you have the mindset and the temperament for it. Everyone should be looking forward to this. I've heard many players say, oh, this tournament is too strong for me. But I mean, if you don't want to be a strong player, you should not be in this tournament. If you want to be a strong player, you should be in this tournament. Yeah, arenas are awkward also because you have to play fast in order to gain points. The idea of playing fast, unfortunately, Hopefully we, I, we should have white in our next game if they're alternating colors. We've only had white twice, black twice, and we're due for white. We're only two away from our H forest. Nope, I got Ron Hay. He gets Ron. Only win from disconnect. The only thing that I dislike. I love playing higher rated guys. I start being able to prepare future moves. Better blitz is hard though. Blitz is always hard. Having little time to think is what makes it difficult. Mm -hmm. All right. Because it's a free pawn, Oh, 
Oh no. Only wind from disconnect. Said. Is there a link to this one? Uh, this one, only when disconnect, you may join the dojo for a future event, but this one we're on our last round, and we run Swiss events, so you only get to play each player once. As it turns out. Must keep up the counterattacking measures. Booby. We must keep up the counterattacking measures. Takes, takes, takes. Now words. Said. Pegasus Sway, I need your help. In 10 minutes, I need to fill up a bar. You need to fill up a bar? <laughs> you need to fill up a bar. What in the world? Nowards. That's said. a good move. On Sloan's stream. Nowards. Said. BRB. Ron with the amazing tactics. Oh my gosh, Ron. You are destroying me. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. He thought I had to play King Takes, which would have been devastating. In fact, I thought I had to play King Takes. I may survive now. But it won't be easy. It will not be Only easy. Disconnect. Said. Join the team. Night to C4. Join the team. Yes. In fact, uh, on weekends, we do the rapid and classical events. Those are absolutely essential, as Mike prefers rapid and classical. My take is that it does not matter the time control that you play as long as you play. It really does not matter what time control you play as long as you play. That is the trick. Is my queen trapped after knight g5? Ron is the master Only of the queen trappage. Said. Thank you for the wisdom that s a solid point. Knight d4 for a counterattack? No. Yeah, you will make the same bad moves at any time control, to be honest. Absolutely honest that you will make the same bad moves at any time control. The goal is, of course, <laughs> to make better and better moves incrementally over time in order to improve. Better and better moves incrementally over time in order to improve. And now for something completely different. He's still after me. 
in that respect, I can't save that pawn. But we can at least cause some problems in reply. We're going to keep the pieces on the board against Ron. He is an um, absolute killer in time controls where he is allowed mm -hmm. Do we throw in a checkup or do we not? Told me once, but I forgot. We have enough we have enough past pawns. Are you diving in? You are diving in with Queen to F6. We have to consolidate. Let's get these puppies moving. Ah. That will tax our playing ability. <laughs> I meant to play Queen F5. That's what I really needed to play. Queen F5 to try to force the trade of queens. Said. Queen F5. Thanks for the chat. Take care. You see, I would have played that move in time trouble in either one. You're going to go under three minutes, no matter what time control that you play, only with disconnect. So, interestingly enough, Blitz actually helps you. C5, it thinks I'm better. And I should play Queen to G6. That's a much better move. Yes. Pegasus Sway. Said. THX John, I play too slow. No, you play just right, Ron. You play just right. There's no such thing as too slow. Honestly, absolutely no such thing as too slow. In an ideal world, we will play just right every single time. So queen to c6, and now I believe that I go back to this, right? So queen to d8 is a blunder, and bishop to b6 takes advantage of this. Believe it or not, I'm still equal after knight to c6 because of my pawn. That's insane. This can't be good for me. Wow. Because of that pawn, I have plenty of compensation for the piece. Compensation for a piece is something I definitely have to look into. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Hay, Beastmaster. If anyone saw the uh, Queenie 6 uh, endeavor that he had on me in the game, now I thought I actually climbed out of it a little bit, I gave back the piece. So now I'm back to being a piece up if I can survive this, according to Stockfish. G6, Bishop to G7, Knight to C6, 
And here, queen to c5 would have been better. Why did I not choose the more aggressive move, queen to c5? I almost chose a move that would hang my queen. But it wasn't hanging my queen. Congratulations. Pillsbury won, yes. Indeed. Matthew Thomas said, Hi. Do I dare try to get my three more H4s in before we, uh, before we decide what's going on? I need a better mouse than the one that I've got for tweaking the times, the international times. Puzzle Streak, play arena tournaments. We want to finish out the five H4s for the day. So we have time to play three Matthew Thomas H4s. Said, I am late as always, and after so many days, I came. Welcome back, Matthew. At the space. Grab the space. Avoiding bishop takes c6. We'll go with the... London variation. Just trying to embarrass his knight. Matthew Thomas said, I just closed chess. What in the world? Thomas said, I thought your stream was over. Oh no, you thought my stream was over? Never over. It's never Matthew over. Thomas said, so I closed and came to check. Oh no, flag. No, my stream is not over. If you've not yet subscribed to the YouTube, anyone, please do. This is your chance to join the YouTube channel and support us immensely in ways you cannot imagine if we can get to 500. H4, and now we're just gonna play chess, believe it or not. interesting what can you do that this was all part of the plan really okay we are trading
¿Qué pasa? we go that way? I don't know. Okay. did have me thinking. I almost hung a knight trying to trap his queen. Was I attacking anything else? So we got another h4 in. That's three h4s. We're going to get five h4s in today. Pascal Sicilian, Best by Test, Benko Variations. Balance. Said. Pegasus Sway, are you ready? We go here. Can I just go for it? Let's go for it. Going for it. I go from being up in time to down in time in that tedious position, that tedious middle game position. C'est la vie. One and two, ladies and gentlemen. One and two. We need three H4s. That's our goal. Remove of Knight C3. Question How do I get Pegasus Sway alive so we can go and noise loan? <laughs> no words. By the way, if you've not yet been introduced to the world's greatest moderator, no words is the best.
Alright, finally. We only need one more H4 after this. Okay, we'll go for it. Let's now try to embarrass his bishop and his knight. Just keep on going. Whoops. That was not, not expected. Not expected at all. miscalculation and the removing of defenders. Oh, I lost on time. C'est la vie. It was a fun game. Hopefully we'll get one more white in the next 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. We're still gonna play C5. for it. Why not? And now for something completely different. Oh no, I did that, didn't I? I did do that. what I thought I'd created counterplay. All right, so we're going to finish minus one for the day. Right now, minus two. But we should get an H4 on the next turn. Our last H4 of the day, ladies and gentlemen.
Yes. That is annoying. Oh no, I was supposed to take the rock. Stage four in for the day, ladies and gentlemen. So we are at one fifteen for B four, one fifteen for E four. I mean uh, B four and H four. Last one to finish with an even score. No, we can't finish with an even score, unfortunately, as it turns out. Keep up the threats. I do have to keep up the threats. Check, check, check. Can we finish with an even record? We're 38% now, we're minus one, or minus two. Still a V. interesting. Well, I guess we'll keep going. Unfortunately, that's not what I wanted to do. We have a lot of work to do here. Let's just keep going.
Black. Nothing left to play for. Very good game overall, though. Very good game overall. Namaste, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Cheers and ciao. I do appreciate every last one of you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Thank you for the follow towels in space. Thank you for the raid, the well-heeled king. Please join me in chatting with Kingslayer Sloan, as he probably is going to end his stream soon. But now we're set. yeah, no, I have. To, I'm off to teach Sunrise Let Chess. Everyone, talks. have a great day. Said, I am in top forty, I think. You are in this bullet arena. What username am I looking for? I'm trying to remember. Matthew Thomas. Lightning God, 47. When I left, I was rank 47. Lightning Nowhere God, 47, indeed. If I see you, I need to help annoy Sloan. <laughs> you do need to help annoy Sloan. Great job, Matthew. Lightning God, 07 and 47th place. Nice work, sir. Cheers and ciao, everyone.